All right, so CM Punk has made his return to AEW. One of my all-time favorite wrestlers is back in action, ready to get a crack in by Quake by the Lake. Now, here's the thing. Since I'm now watching AEW, I will be able to see CM Punk do his thing once more. I made a review on last week's Dynamite, so that's on the channel. If you want to check it out, but even if I don't watch or I don't make reviews, I'm still going to try and watch Dynamite, Rampage, pay-per-views. I'm going to try my best just to get into AEW, and then hopefully it'll just become a habit and a routine, you know? But we're going to check this out. So the AEW World Champion CM Punk is back. AEW Dynamite, Quick by the Lake, yeah. I'm not too sure what's going to happen exactly, but since he is the World Champion, he will be squaring off with, I think, John Moxie, because John Moxie was in the, in the thumbnail. So... That's probably our next match. Oh, we got a full-on brawl going on here. Oh, wow. I didn't know that Claudio was a face as well. I'm very used to him being a heel in WWE, but this is different. Oh. Okay. Where's Anna JAS? Oh, he just slipped. Man slipped on the edge of the ring. I reckon he slipped with someone's blood. Because this match looks like it was insane. Blood all over the ring. Yeah. And I didn't even watch it as well. I'm saying that I'm going to watch Dynamite, but I didn't watch it last night. Oh, not with a championship. Straight to the head of John Moxley. Here it comes. There's nothing he can do. Oh my god. The radio interference comes in. The song hits. The crowd erupts. CM Punk is back! Oh my god! Listen to that reaction. Oh my god! That guy got clobbered there. But now, what will actually happen between him and John Moxley? Will there, will there be respect or will there be a fight? If they're both baby faces, then I reckon we have respect. But they will be having the match to unify the championships, right? John, turn around. He might, he might attack you, John! John! Please. Turn around, John. Oh, no. He knew he was right behind him as well. He was ready to square off. Oh, my God. This is so crazy. Like, imagine in 2017, someone told you that CM Punk and Dean Ambrose will be squaring off in a new company in a few years. Oh! Pulls the finger right and gives him a shoulder barge. Like, I think John Moxley will never really be a full-on babyface with, like... I mean, he'll, he'll respect people in some circumstances, but he is still a hard bastard, like, isn't he? When it comes to his opponent, he wants to destroy them. And he probably just cannot show them respect. Because he knows what he has to do to them when the time comes. One more shot! One more match! One shot champion! There's only one champion. If he loses... That's, that's a rough one. The thing is, like, CM Punk is such a loved wrestler. So, who, who will beat him? And when will that be? This has to be a lengthy title reign. Especially since, I'm pretty sure he was injured during the match that he won the championship. So he hasn't even had a chance to have his title reign, right? So, I reckon, like, this time next year, he could still be the champion. You know what I mean? Maybe go on a Roman Reigns kind of kind of thing. But Roman Reigns has went on for way too long. Even CM Punk, you know, if it, if he went on to have the title for more than two years, I would still, uh, yeah, that's a bit much, I think. Well, there's a match to look forward to. CM Punk versus John Moxley to unify the AEW World Championship and the Interim World Championship to bring us back to the one AEW World Championship. CM Punk will probably win. But then again, John Moxley is also a top guy in AEW, like one of the best. So, I don't know. It might go either way, but it has to be CM Punk, doesn't it? There's no way. 